Next patron question from Gaijin American. What are your thoughts on the Chinese Cultural Revolution? Well, Which this is one? something I learned about like 10 years ago in high school. And let me tell you, I was freaking horrified. Every time we refresh my memory, I'm like, holy crap. It Anything approaching, roughly touching the Chinese Cultural Revolution scares the crap out of me. Yeah, just we'll, we'll give it well, give an intro to people after all that. Like, I don't even know where to begin. Well, begin somewhere. Okay. Well, like I said, I last learned about this in high school, so I'm not going to be able to give specifics. But basically, I believe it was in the '60s. The, 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 well, the, it's. It's many different events or like a period of time in China where there were um, like repeated purges and shifts in who <laughs> secular writing Suzanne edging us all. I'm trying to focus. Um, <laughs> um, in who is the like, I don't even know how to put it. The kind of okay, is this is was this just a cult was this as cultural or also economical like what like this well it is was like, called the Chinese Cultural Revolution, but yeah, but there were many different classes beyond of people just culture. who were persecuted, including yeah. people who were original supporters of the party. You know when it was first established and during armed fighting, who suddenly because of various blights on their character like needed to basically be purged from society and this took many different forms and it happened repeatedly and mm -hmm. um the social persecution and humiliation that would happen to people in i mean that's just like the light end of it, it is horrible um i've been really interested in in studying um it's chinese communist brainwashing and mm -hmm. It's a cultural revolution is kind of like watching that happening on the scale of a nation. Um, and what's interesting, a lot of people don't know this, the word brainwashing literally comes from Chinese to describe the tactics used by the Chinese communist regime. Um, go ahead. What are your thoughts? Uh, no, I'm just saying like, I, this is, the most ex uh, one of the most extreme versions of a top-down approach and uh, the government trying to maintain the way people live their lives and how they do business and how what they think and what they say um like on such a mass scale trying to be for it to be done on the highest number of people in history you know what i mean like there has never been an example of that to, to such an extent right um i don't do you think like one example of it so this is it, it's called the cultural revolution but what is ref, what is actually referring to is like beyond just culture like economic activity right um you know it was an attack on anything remotely capitalist related right so um you know removing anything of you know ca capitalist and purging all things capitalist right so i don't know if it could be just cultural but yeah the results was like mass starvation and mass execution of your opposition uh, but you know I, one thing people don't understand is that when they talk about like people like um the communism under uh, the soviet union or in china they talk about the violent deaths that the the, the number of opposition uh, uh, that these these regimes killed but even 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 though that number is really really high much higher than what happened under you know germany's adolf i'm not going to say his last name um the the greater number is even the number uh, the number of people who died from starvation right so as high as the number is when it comes to people who were hunted down and killed and executed um, as as big of a number that is relative to even uh, to to the um, to the regime in Germany, 
imagine how big the number is given that the people who died from starvation it was even more like even simple when was what was the year that uh, in china they decided to kill this bird that was that they thought um, oh that's a good one china yeah the gov the government bird. decided that yeah everybody should they made posters about killing the bird Sparrow, for the country. against sparrows oh yeah Sparrow war Sparrow. china sparrow war okay it was what year was that? Me. Was that during the cultural Four revolution? Pests campaign? No, it was 58 to 62. And I was correct. Someone said in the live chat that the cultural revolution was 66 to 76. So I said this, the 60s. Oh, so this sparrow killing was not part of it? Technically, it was okay, like beforehand. Before it. But again, even though it was It before speaks it, to a larger dysfunction. <laughs> yeah, it speaks to that that, that attitude of look at these posters that they made about killing this poor little sparrows the poor little birdies oh my god look at the way they're killing them okay and the government just look at them they put them all uh, they they made everybody go after the sparrows for what reason was it well it was part of a pest campaign so they were going after yeah. pests that were supposed to either like contain disease or um uh harm too much grain farm, no no the, okay the mao said that the sparrows ate too much of the grain um and china could do without such pests okay so they went and they made posters about everybody killing the sparrows and what was the result <laughs> mass oh ecological my. disaster actually i shouldn't be laughing because it uh, because it was actually famine it was oh my god i shouldn't be laughing like that um people actually actually now they're okay yeah, yeah but okay. it was very different than the cultural revolution like what's your take on the cultural revolution nope. in general? My no it's the same thing it's the idea of a top-down approach for the government to decide like we know better than the collective will of the people okay you know people make fun of the invisible hand okay they're like oh the invisible hand of the market is gonna fix everything sure buddy why don't you believe in god like now that you believe in an actual invisible hand i'm like okay sure Let's get the government. Let's get a top-down approach in how to fix things. Um, do a cultural revolution, or get like people to kill the sparrows, or something like that. What was the result? The results were the sparrows apparently ate the pests. Okay, that the sparrows ate the pests, and by killing the sparrows, what happened was the the bugs uh, started eating all the crops because there was no there were no sparrows anymore to ki to eat the bugs that killed the um they ate the pest and it resulted in many 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 people dying i don't i want to see how many people die eventually this resulted in the death by starvation um because of them killing the sparrows no um, the great sparrow campaign was this okay so here oh wow saying the great uh, numbers vary of course with the official number from the chinese government place that 15 people, on the other hand, quickly ran out of things to eat and millions starved. 15 million. Uh, some scholars, however, estimate that the fatalities were as high as 45 or 78 million. Chinese journalists who chronicled the famine. In, yeah, so the famine that resulted in the killing, that resulted from the killing of the sparrows, killed between uh 15 million to 78 million people from starvation basically the greatest uh the the greatest mass starvation in history think about this the greatest mass starvation in history started simply because the mao because mao decided that the sparrows might are bad kill the sparrows just a sim small simple order they seemed very insignificant to some people like, oh, sparrow's back, kill the sparrow, so we have more grains. Mass starvation, the greatest mass starvation in history, just because of one person said one decided to make one order. Okay. Un unbelievable. Okay. This is if these are not examples of why top down you have to let the market do again, there are there, there's obviously some limitations. There needs to be like regulated capitalism, but you don't mess with it to this extent anyways um but yeah cultural revolution um chinese cultural revolution is, is, is overall 
you know, you say cultural revolution with lower C and lower R, or like so you're not the cultural revolutions. Like if you're not talking about the cultural revolution, we are we have many Chinese cultural revolutions. We're going through one right now, right? We're going we're constantly going through top down. Uh, government force cultural revolutions. In fact, the one that we're going through right now involves some, some up, some pushes in the opposite direction, right? So, for example, Confucianism uh, under the decultural revolution. What do you mean by the one we're going through right now? I want you to clarify. So, so un under the cultural revolution that was decultural revolution, Confucianism was attacked um, and yes. was trying. Yeah, it was it was trying to be eliminated, right? But under the Cultural Revolution, lowercase Cultural Revolution that we're going through right now, Confucianism is having a major comeback um, with the endorsement of the government and being used um, partially as a way to, um, you know, export um, CCP propaganda around the world, right? Partly, but many for many other reasons, right? Uh, another oh. way is to create some cultural identity. Yeah, go on. Gaijin American is here in the chat saying, I was more curious about your opinion on the destruction of religious temples, burning oh. of imperial corse, corpses, wealth transfer from landlords to peasants, smashing of old superstitions, etc. Um, that's what well, I, that's so this is what I was saying. One thing. Yeah, but, so this is exactly what I was referring to right now, like the, well, partly the attack on Confucianism, right? Which was partly, yeah, go, but go on. It's it's difficult. So um, this is a area period of history that I want to like relearn about because um, it's been a long time for me. But I think based on what I know about the Qing Dynasty beforehand, there were a lot of things in China that needed a radical change. It, it came at a really it came at a huge cost. So I wish it could have gone in a different direction it's really complicated but like the Qing dynasty wasn't i've heard people who are um uh pro anti-ccp um talking about china before communism as if like the life of the farmers was just hunky-dory and everything was fine i was like it wasn't like life was not easy the, there was um still like a feudal attitude and um just the deep stratification of society there were so many other issues and um, great obstacles towards bettering more people's quality of life. So a change was overdue. Um, I just think the period of Mao's reign in particular, and then his cult, like psychotic cult of personality is um, something that is, it's uh, scary and it's also a really interesting case study that I think should be examined and understood. Um, that So, like I said, there were lots of changes that needed to happen in China. Um, in, in, of course, I'm not a fan of like superstitions and stuff. I don't think people should be persecuted for having those superstitions. And so that's a big difference between like me and the, the current regime. I know there's lots of... Um, restrictions on how you celebrate or certain rituals um and also just the destruction of china's history during this period is heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking the amount of history of one of the oldest civilizations in our world being destroyed and its nose being chopped off its face you know it's um really it's something that is a massive loss to our global history as as humans. Um, so that's something that's really too bad. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.